Hello to everybody out there. Uh, this will be my second lesson. And in this lesson, I want to make uh, some kind of follow up on the lesson I did before about triads and how to practice them, how to play them. And uh, in this lesson, I will start with triads with a wider range, which are not uh, mm -hmm. close together on, on three neighbored strings. Um, and the second part will be about how you can use triads to make some nice backings to practice your modes. So uh, let's get started. Um, if you haven't seen the first lesson, I recommend you uh, to check this out first. Um, uh, then you can follow this one a little bit better, I think. Um, the, the thing is, when we play triads, uh, and no matter if we play it in the root position, first inversion, second inversion, we normally put them on three neighbored strings and there's a way, just a small technique, to stretch them a little bit. Uh, all you have to do is transpose the mid, the middle string of the triad. So as an example, when I start on C, I go C, E, G, C major triad. When I now transpose the E, the second note on the D string, and I put this an octave higher, I have C, G, E, C, G, E, and I'm getting this. Before and now. So you can do this with all the inversions. This is the first inversion. E, G, and C. The G is the middle note. I have to put this an octave higher. So I would play E, C, and then the G. And the last one, uh, second inversion. The C is the middle note. I have a G, a C, and an E. And in this case, I transpose the C an octave higher, so I have to play G, E, and C. So we have our three triads. Or, as an example, or different pairs of, of strings give you a different sound. And uh, to practice them, I would also recommend you to make some little cadences. So maybe you go C, F, G, oh, oh here we are, and then C. <coughs> so, in case you want to make a Christmas record, you can use these triads. Um, um, but just to give you an example, one one tune. Uh, this chili pepper song and it's so you find these chords a lot in, in pop music and rock music because they are very usable so I encourage you to learn them uh, it's good stuff so as we did it now with the major chords we can do this with the minor and you can start all over again and do this with minor triads and put the middle uh, voice an octave higher but you also can change your major chord to a minor chord. So you have to find out again where is my third and you have to lower this a half step. And then you got the C minor chords. Sometimes you have to stretch pretty bad. But uh, as I said to my students, if I can do it, I'm sure you can do it because I have very small fingers. So if, if my range is, is, is wide enough, then I think yours will be too. Okay? So, also you can build cadences with minor chords. So, in my first video, I showed you to make some, some how to make some backings with, with the triads. Uh, and I did this with uh, Ionian, so the major scale, and uh, with Mixolydian and Dorian. But there is 
Phrygian II, there's Lydian II, there's Aeolian II, and there's Lokian II. And you can use these triads to make nice backings, uh, so you can practice these modes. I think it's important when you practice modes that you feature the notes that are special for the mode. As an example, when I'm playing Lydian, I should feature the uh, sharp 4. Uh, when I play Aeolian, the, the minor 6. In the opposite to Dorian, the major 6. So, when you do this with triads, this can help you that the, the backing sounds like the scale, so it's much easier to improvise over this. Um, all you have to do is you use the two major triads from the key your mode is coming from and building a backing upon, upon, upon these two triads. As an example, as I did in the former video, I talked about C Dorian, we had a root C. C Dorian would be the second uh, scale in the B flat major scale. In B flat major, my subdominant chord is an E flat, my dominant chord is an F. So I have an E flat triad and an F triad. No matter where. And all I have to do, play these two triads and put the bass from the mode in the bottom. That's important. So you don't play the, bot, the, 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 root, the root from the uh, major scale, which would be B flat. You have to root. You have to use the root from the from the mode. It's C Dorian. It's C. As an example with Mixolydian, uh, C Mixolydian would be in the key of F. In the key of F, my four chord would be B flat, and my five chord would be C. So. I'm using a B-flat triad, I'm using a C triad, and I put the root from the mode I want to play, C, because I want to play C mix on the in the bottom. cover was uh, Phrygian. Uh, C Phrygian would be the third mode in A flat. A flat, B, C. C is the third. So my four chord in the key of A flat is a D flat major and my five chord is an E flat major. So I put these two chords above my C. sound. So next one would be Lydian. Uh, C Lydian would be the fourth mode in G major. Uh, my four chord is C and the five chord is D. D major and a C in the bass and C major and a C in the bass. is an A flat and the five chord is a B flat. So I play 
my A flat chord with the C in the bass, and my B flat triad with the C in the bass. So again from the C, uh, I always use the C now because um, so you, when you always put the same root in the bottom, you, you always start on the C, you hear the difference much, the difference of the sound from these modes much stronger. Um, so I would not uh, switch uh, uh, to other keys always staying on the C or pick another note. You can use E too, you can use your open E string. Um, okay, so uh, Locrian, C Locrian is the seventh mode in the key of D flat. D flat, the four chord is a G flat, and the five chord is an A flat. So. I give you some ideas about how to practice your modes and find some more arguments on why you should learn triads. Um, I think my next video will be about this guitar, uh, my Strat. Um, I will put this on maybe tomorrow. Uh, let's see what the weather brings. If it's as bad as today, then we stay at home, so I have time to do another video. Um, if you like my stuff, uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumb up or maybe write something in the, in the comments and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.